Hey everyone, it's me, QP83, and I am here today with some of the items that were in the Hasbro Disney Princess Mystery Box. They were all sent for review from Hasbro, so huge thank you. Uh, so we are going to do a few things. Uh, because we've already kind of talked about Little Kingdom and the Disney Princess fashion dolls on other or in other reviews, I'm not going to go into like a crazy amount of detail because I'll begin to sound like a broken record um, because a lot of what I like about them is still what I like about them and what I don't like about them is still what I don't like about them. So you guys already know my opinions on it. I know my opinions on it. So I'm just going to show these off in more detail and you guys can tell me what you think. So we're going to start off small with the Little Kingdom series. This is the Fairy Tale Dreams set right here. Um, as you'll see, it includes Aurora. She has a removable mask, as you will see here, that fits her eyes rather comfortably. She also comes with her three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. You'll see them right here. She comes with this uh, bed, which is in two pieces, so in order to put it together, you just put the corners in. Press, super easy. This, uh, it doesn't really stay well on top. At least mine doesn't really like to stay well. This is our Aurora right here. As you'll see, she's made like any other Little Kingdom doll. Her head moves, her arms move, her top falls off occasionally. Uh, she does bend at the torso. She can lay in her bed. She can sit on her bed like so. So she is um, pretty cute. I do like it. Oh, she also comes with her side table that has breakfast, I guess. Uh, pancakes or something like that. So that is Aurora's fairy tale dreams. Now we also have this Aurora. We'll push these guys off to the side a little bit here. We have this Aurora, which is a basic little kingdom Aurora. She has the same sort of movement. Uh, her crown is removable and she comes with these two little flowers you can put on her dress and obviously you can swap outfits with other figures as well. Uh, and because I have not yet got into this review for her yet, I thought I would pop Merida in here because she seems to fit in with the theme. This is the basic Merida who comes with her bow and her treats. Uh, the, my only downside with Merida is if you give her a super active prop, like a bow, she should be able to hold it like, like normal, and unfortunately she can't do this just because of the limitations of the little body. But all three of these guys are really cute. So the nice thing about the playset is that inside there is a backdrop, so you can set your Aurora up in her bedroom, like that, put in her side table. The fairies can be bouncing around somewhere. And you have this nice little play area that you can use. Especially, what's also especially nice is that this does close up and it seems to close well. So you can take it on the go, car trips, planes. So now we're moving on to the fashion dolls. This is Royal Shimmer Aurora. You've seen Royal Shimmer before. So the main theme in the Royal Shimmer line is that there are shimmery elements, sparkly elements to the outfit. So you'll see that in the bodice and the skirt here. Uh, she has the same body as all the other Royal Shimmer dolls that we've seen. Her arms have decent jointing for some reason. Her arm is tougher to move up and down than the others. Uh, her legs will move up and down, they'll go out as well. She has pink shoes on for the shoe lovers out there. And she has nice curly blonde hair. The ringlets are actually done really well, so I give Hasbro kudos on that because they did a really good job on that. And her hair is very smooth and soft. Uh, she has a pretty face with purple eyes, pink lips. It does look pretty and it does look like Aurora. So this is the like the basic Royal Shimmer Aurora. Now we're going to go and compare to another one here. This is Long Lox Aurora. Long Lox Aurora is a hair design doll essentially. She has much longer hair than Aurora's here. Aurora, this Aurora's hair maybe goes to about here. And then you'll see Long Lox has much longer hair. It is also curly. I do think they did a good job curling it. It's 
not like there's not like a huge gimmick to this the, the idea is that you can braid it you could put this in a ponytail you could put pigtails in it so you can do all that sort of fun stuff and I do think the length is really nice as well sometimes they do like hair that's too long on these dolls and then the, the ends are just like a knotted mess so I think the length is good again the hair is soft easy to you know style that sort of thing she is the same face a similar style dress. I actually like this dress better than the Royal Shimmer dress. I think this is a cuter outfit. Now because she is a styling doll, she does come with a comb and that has a mirror on the other side. So you can comb her, her pretty little hair. She also comes with a clip. So you can clip in a highlight. And she comes with another clip. That you could clip in to her hair or you could clip into your hair like so so this is long locks aurora as you can see when they're both standing together they do look rather similar but i think of the two i do like i like her dress but i think they did a good job on on both of these so that's just a little bit um, about the stuff that was in the Hasbro Disney Princess box for this month. Let me know what your favorite product is. What do you, do you think they're doing a good job with Aurora? Let me know in the commentary. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.